good afternoon my dear youtube viewers today also we will continue the the sampling technique here precautionary is the choice of sampling under this one should practice double care in selection of samples in the following way the in, an investigator should be well acquainted with the entire range of items or populations out of which the selection is going to be made the investigator had thorough knowledge about the items or else wrong selection had been taken place if there is a homogeneous society each to select the samples and also if it is more heterogeneity then sampling cannot be treated as representative sample if different domains are interlinked with one another it is not possible to form or the select the representative sample the selection of sample at random from the in a given universe that facilitates a purposeful study of the universe through the selected unit thus the researcher is freed of the labor task of the carrying out his research on the larger scale as a whole instead an analysis of the sample is enough to produce adequate reliable and valid results then stratified sampling sampling the method this method of selecting samples is a combination of or mixer of deliberate and random sampling technique techniques at first the data is classified into based on the characteristic features in general later certain items are reselected through the random selection technique why because this type of sampling technique is used at particularly when the subdata is having the special characteristic features the researcher stratify the large whole into more or less homogeneous subunits and study the samples from subunits this type of sampling results as a valid result in so far as subunits are representative as the universe as such it stands so the stratified sampling method is the best alternative with the task of heterogeneous whole as a whole next process of stratification phenomenon depending on the care technique stratification success follows like this we should have extensive information about all items including domain that is which items differ and which items are alike the size of stratum that is all units is very important because from that only we will randomly select the representative sample but in all stratification the unit features are one and the same by that we can see homogeneous nature easily if two strata is having the same features or alike there is no need of stratification if the above mentioned precautions one can consider them we can get the good results from this method as it combines the virtues of deliberate sampling and a random sampling technique we can recap the information precautions in the choice of samples under this one should practice double care in the selection of samples in the following way the an investigator should be well acquainted with the entire range of items or population out of which selection is to be made the investigator had thorough knowledge about the items or else wrong selection had been taken place if there is a homogeneous society easy to select the sample and also if it is more heterogeneity the samples cannot be treated as representative sample if different domains interlinked with one another it is not possible to form or select representative sample the selection of sample at random from the given universe which facilitates a purposeful study of the universe through the selected unit thus the researcher is freed of the labor task of carrying out his research on the larger whole instead an analysis of the sample is enough to produce adequate reliable 
and valid results next one stratified sampling this method of selecting the samples is a combination of mixer of deliberate and random sampling techniques at first the data is classified into based on the general characteristic features later certain items are reselected through the random sampling technique this type of sampling technique is used particularly when the subdata having the special characteristic features the researcher stratified the larger scale into more or less homogeneous segments or subunits and study the samples from the subunits point of view this type of sampling results as a good result or a valid results in so far as subunits are representatives as the universe as such it stands this stratified sampling method is the best alternative with the task of heterogeneous society or community as a whole by this today's lecture is com completed but again we will extend process of stratification of phenomenon depending on the care of technique stratification success follows we should have extensive information about all items including domain which items differ and which items are not like that is alike the size of the stratum that is all units is very important because from that only we can randomly select the representative samples but in all stratification the unit features are one and same by that we can see the homogeneous nature easily if two strata is having the same features are alike there is no need of the stratification if the above mentioned precautions one can consider them we can get the good results from this method as it combines the virtues of the deliberate sampling and random sampling techniques too by this today's lecture is totally completed and this is bindu taking leave from the youtube platform good day